Hey there, it's Kevin from Cook and recently I asked you guys to give me your breakfast recipes from your country so I can try and make them and of course rate them because that's what I do. So I took it to Instagram and Patreon to ask you guys to give me specific recipes and tell me why they're special and important to you. So without further ado, I want to go into my DMs right now and just see which of these breakfasts is my favorite one. First, let's go down to Spain where Irene told us to try pan tumaca and apparently it's the easiest thing ever. What we have to do is get some tomatoes and I got some really nice ones here. Fortunately, I could find some tomatoes that were not Dutch, but a lot more expensive. So thank you for watching. You make it possible for me to enjoy better tomatoes, which is important. Anyways, we're gonna cut these tomatoes in half and grate them on a grater until they're grated. And although the recipe calls for throwing these skins away, I think just adding a little salt makes for a great snack. We're gonna add some olive oil and not just any olive oil, good olive oil. And also a bit of salt. Mix this up until a wonderful tomato concoction is formed. Oh my god. Next, the bread. We're gonna cut a few slices at a bias and drizzle them with our good olive oil. And we're simply going to toast them in a pan until slightly browned and crispy on both sides. Now it's as easy as putting everything together. First our bread, then our tomato mixture, and finally we need to top it with jamon. And I have some serrano ham here, and I am really bad at peeling it off the package. Add that to our bread, and there you go. Pretty freaking easy if you ask me. So this comes from Irene, and she said, Hi, my mom used to blend the tomatoes every morning so my dad and I could have fresh breakfast before going to work. Oh, that's that's good, Irene's mom. Respect. So Irene lives in the US right now and apparently this is what reminds her of home. This Spanish breakfast. So you know what, I'll stop talking and I'll try it. Mm. I got hit with instant flavor. I'm a huge fan of like simple stuff put together in a simple way. You know what? I will give it a 7.5 out of 10. It deserves it. It feels like an amazing nostalgic home food, but it doesn't have that much going for it as far as like nutrition goes. Next, we're going to Germany, specifically the region of Bavaria, where the very famous Oktoberfest just took place. And to celebrate that, we're gonna see what recipe Ina sent me on Instagram. A typical Bavarian breakfast, Weisswurst Frühstück. Sorry, Germans. Boiled sausages served with loads of sweet mustard, freshly baked pretzels, and a refreshing Weissbier. I did eventually find a white pork sausage that technically isn't a Weisswurst, but it's it's close enough. I brought a big pot of water to a boil and now we gotta wait for it to magically boil. Whoa! And added several pinches of salt, added my Weisswurst in and I simmered it covered for 10 minutes. And look at these plump sausages. Maybe I shouldn't move it like this. I also have a bretzel. Unfortunately, it's not a fresh one. I could not find a fresh one, which is pretty annoying, but I did throw it in my oven a little bit so it can get a little bit warmer and a little bit moister. Also, I could not find German sweet mustard, so I just made it myself. I took some whole seed mustard. This one is Belgian. And I added a little honey to make it sweet. And having had the Bavarian mustard before, this one was pretty darn close. I also had a Weiss beer which is a white beer that came directly from München because apparently the sausages without the beer might be slightly frowned upon by the locals. So let's dig in. Okay, so we got this Bavarian breakfast from Ina. Thank you, Ina, so much for giving this to me because it's Oktoberfest and we have to celebrate. So she said that it's the thing that Bavaria in Germany is most known for. And the Weisswurst, which is this, with sweet mustard is just heavenly. It's not something that I could eat every day, but I really crave it sometimes. Just something savory with a sweet mustard. It's so good. Thank you for the kind words. Um, yeah, let's go into this and see how it is. Sweet mustard. Mmm, got the snap. What if I... <laughs> this is good, but it doesn't feel like breakfast at all. This feels like a lunch when I'm outside or eating with my family. To me, this is a six out of 10. 
Okay, now that we spent some time in Europe, let's travel across the ocean to the Dominican Republic and make a recipe requested by fellow cook watcher, Sir Noero, Los Tres Golpes. I've been wanting to try this for a long time and now I could finally find the proper ingredients. This is a traditional Dominican breakfast consisting of Dominican style fried salami, fried Dominican cheese, fried eggs, pickled red onions, and mango, which is a mashed plantain dish. So I got my hands on some plantains and I just followed Sir Know It All's instructions. You are to peel the green plantains and boil them. Once they're soft, stop boiling and mash them. I did that with a fork in a separate bowl. You should have mentioned that Sir Know It All. But yeah, pour little amounts of cold water over semi-mashed plantains, keep mashing and use butter alone until you get a good consistency, but not soupy. So when I finally got this, I added some salt and there you go, I made mango. Now it was time for the rest of the ingredients. First, we got this Dominican frying salami. I cut this into thick slices and seared it in some olive oil in a pan until both sides were nice and crispy. Next, the cheese. This is a special type of cheese made specifically for frying, so it's not gonna fall apart. And I kind of treated it the same as the salami, sliced it, fried it, and boom, we got fried cheese. Is this burnt? I'm not sure if this is burnt or not. Then in the same pan, I cracked two eggs. Oh my God. I gotta admit, I'm not a very good egg cracker. So now let's put everything together. Los tres golpes, mango, fried salami, and fried cheese, plus the fried eggs and some pickled onions. And keep in mind, traditionally the onions are cooked in vinegar for just a bit, but I already had these pickled onions on hand, so I just used them. Now let's taste it. Okay, Los Tres Golpes, the Dominican breakfast. I've been wanting to do this for a long time because I was aware of it, but then Cambumbito has uh, raised it to my attention and has given me a very nice explanation of it. He says, fried salami, cheese, and eggs just taste good, but the plantains make it a hearty meal. They're not too heavy to start the day and provide enough energy for a whole work shift. So I am very excited about this cheese, to be honest. Mmm, cheese is wonderful. I kind of expected the plantains to be a bit sweeter. They taste nothing like a banana. It's a lot more like mashed potatoes what I have here. You know what, it's, it's, too, it's too delicious. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. There you go. And the last one comes from one of our patrons. This is a Patreon exclusive segment where you get to request recipes. So we got Pyrus Dragonoid. I'm Romanian. Well, I'm also Romanian. And the most comforting breakfast for me ever since I was a child was Gris Culapte. Right, this is semolina pudding. My mom used to make it as a dessert or when I was sick, but the ultimate happiness was when she was making it for me for breakfast. So thank you Pyrus Dragonoid for your request. And if you want to be part of this segment, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon. Now let's do this. So I am very familiar with this, I'm not gonna lie. And I love it so much. My parents used to make this for me many times and I also make it for myself now as a comfort food. Pyrus Dragonoid, cool name by the way, said to bring 500 milliliters of milk to a boil, then add 50 grams of sugar, a pinch of salt, and 30 grams of butter until everything is dissolved. Take the pan off the heat and add 50 grams of grish, which is semolina, constantly stirring. And now we just gotta keep this moving and stirring and be patient with it until it starts coming together to a thick and creamy consistency. Pyrus Dragonoid said, top it with your favorite toppings. Theirs was homemade berry jam, so I just did that. Cinnamon sugar is a superior topping though, but I will not hold that against you, Pyrus Dragonoid. But anyways, let's just taste this thing. Ah, semolina pudding, gris culapte. This is also a childhood favorite of mine. The nostalgia factor is really strong with this one. Mm, I wanna eat this whole thing right now. Oh my God, like, the thing is I cannot rate this fairly. I'm super biased because nostalgia is the best ingredient that you can use in a food. So to me, this is at least an eight out of 10, just cause it makes me so happy. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you did like it and click on one of these two videos to watch more of my videos if you enjoy my videos you can click on them i'll see you guys next time